Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever applies to you guys, and welcome to episode 3 of my Let's Play Hitman Blood Money series. Today, as promised, we're playing Flatline, and we have to rescue that guy, Agent Smith. He was sent here on a hit, failed, and is now being held in the rehabilitation clinics. Our job is to rescue him, and upon finding him, he will give us the target, and we shall be able to kill that target for him. So first things first, I just randomly killed that wanker, taking his admission paper, and now I'm running up to the reception area. I'll open these doors and make my way in here and place the paper down on this table. There you go, bitch. Welcome, you'll be staying in room A. Just step into the dressing room, change into a robe, and leave your clothes and personal effects for safekeeping. Hmm, how about... No! Yeah, take that, you stupid bitch. Oi, fuck off, what did I do? She was evil. She was evil, you stupid pieces of shit. I just saved your life. Idiots, ingrateful fucks. You fucking ingrateful bastards. Well, you know what? I've got a fucking present for you. I'm gonna drop a mine in the doorway here, walk away, equip my detonator, push the fucking button, and blow all you guys sky fucking high! Yeah! Okay, yeah, that joke's overused, but who really cares? It's funny. Or is it? I don't know. So now we're going to do the mission properly. We're going to make our way to the left-hand side this time. And instead of going to the reception, and instead of pushing that random smoker off the side and taking his admission papers, we're going to go up this set of stairs. And there's going to be a couple walking right here. Now, you can, if you want to, sedate that guy and take his uniform and walk in that way because no one will actually patrol up here, so you can get away with it. But to be a little bit different, what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb this pole here and make my way onto the roof. You know, it's careful here that you stay crouched and move slowly because there is usually a blonde woman up here smoking as well as a bodyguard. But right now, there doesn't... Oh, there's a blonde woman over there. But there doesn't seem to be any bodyguards, so I'll just quickly make my way around here. And I'll approach this fuse box and break the utility box as it's giving me the option to do. As you can see, if you look into the window to the left here, there's a copper there watching the security cameras. Because I've broken the fuse box, he's of course going to come out and try and fix it. I'm just going to stand in this corner, and you're, going to, you're not going to believe how fucking close the copper actually gets to me, and he still can't fucking see me until I make myself known. So any minute now, he's just going to walk around and try and fix the fuse box, and here he is, see? You know, within breathing distance of me, but, you know not doing anything. So I'm going to throw a coin and hopefully it's going to distract him and take him over and face him away from me. Oh, no, nah, that just made him see me. Fucking fantastic. Well, you know what? While you're busy with your you're not allowed here animation, I'm going to take this fucking sedative and jab you on the neck with this needle. Shh, 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 shh. Just relax. Just relax, you useless piece of shit. So now that you've sedated him, take his uniform and just leave him there because again, nobody's going to go outside. It doesn't matter. Open the door, close the door behind you, of course. Approach the desk there, pick up the key card to the rehabilitation area, and maybe just for good measure steal the videotape. I haven't been caught in surveillance yet, but you never know what's going to happen in the future. So we'll make our way down this hallway here, using the key card to open both doors. Now this is the interesting part, because what I'm actually going to do with myself is let myself get seen by the orderly that's currently approaching the area. So he's going to come around the corner, and he's going to see me as he walks in. There he is, he's seen me. Now I'm going to pretend, I was going to hide there, but I changed my mind. So now he's going to again perform the, you're not supposed to be here animation, and I'm just going to take my gun, take him as a human shield, drag him to an area where people won't see him. I was going to push him down the stairs, but I decided against the idea, because I'm pretty sure there's a copper that patrols down there. So I figured maybe the best bet is to take him into this corner, just before the door, and give him a fucking smack to the fucking neck. So that's one way of actually sedating people without having to use your sedatives, because of course you only get two permissions. So to be able to do that doesn't affect your silent assassin rating, but it still preserves your sedatives, which is a great idea. So now I was going to go in through the window, but I realized it's probably better just to go around because I don't have to go through that room at all. So I'll go through this door and I'll head down the stairs. Now be careful in this part here because there is an orderly that likes to patrol around the place. Now, there are two ways you can do this part. You can either time it perfectly and wait for the orderly to go and look at the patient through the door and then double back to another room and stare fucking blankly at a wall for a few seconds and while he's doing that sedate the agent, or you can save yourself the fucking trouble and just take care of him yourself. Hey. Fuck! I pushed him too early and now he hasn't hit the fucking wall, so we're gonna have to try again. So this time, I'll follow him into the room that he actually doubles back into. Stop fucking looking at me and just go into the damn room so I can push you into the wall. So now I've got to time it just right. Yeah! Yes! Oh, what the fuck? Look at my suspicion meter! What? 
Bullshit! Okay, you fucking piece of shit. I'm wasting no more fucking time with you. I'm gonna just fucking knock you out like I should have been the fucking first time. Fucking take that, you piece of shit. And now, of course, with no more witnesses and nobody to catch us, we're gonna head over to the cell where Agent Smith is being held, unlock the door, and go in and fucking talk to him. <laughs> So now that we're at the end of that fucking unskippable cutscene, we're going to inject Agent Smith with death serum, making it look like he's dead and has to be taken to the morgue, which just so happens to be conveniently located at the entrance to the facility. It is at this point that we also realise there is not just one, but three targets that we can actually kill, and this is where the fucking fun starts. Now the three guys you have to kill are this guy, this guy, and this guy. They're all mobsters. One of them is going state's witness and the other two just have to die. And these guys are going to be very easy to spot because they're all wearing different coloured robes to everybody else. Fucking fantastic. So just now I have actually changed back into my security guard outfit. I didn't have to. You could stay as the orderly if you really wanted to. It doesn't make a slight difference whatsoever. But hey, I just felt like doing that. So now we're going to go back through the security room, head back outside and climb this pipe drain up to the roof here. Now be careful when you climb up here because there is again a blonde woman smoking and also a personal bodyguard in the form of a patient smoking out here as well. So as you can see there's the bodyguard there. So it's just good to keep yourself crouched so it doesn't see you. So he's turned around. So I'll just make my way across the roof. This is where we'll set out the first of our two traps that we're going to use to kill these guys. Now one of these guys loves to cook so much so that he cooks in his own room. We're just going to rig the gas there and I'm sure you're going to know exactly what's coming later. But we'll get to that when it does come. We'll now make our way back down the stairs, but before we do that, we'll go into this room, through these few rooms here, and plant a bomb on this area here. And again, you can probably see the outcome of that, but again, we'll jump to that when we come to it. Just looking at myself in the mirror there, back through the door, and now we'll go down the stairs. So just speeding up the gameplay now, because there is a fair bit of waiting involved from this point on, um, I'm going to run around like a bit of a headless chook here, because for some strange fucking reason, I always lose my bearings in this mission. I, ke I keep forgetting what fucking door leads where, what passageway goes where, and I always find myself forgetting which direction of the rehabilitation clinic the fucking gym is, and vice versa, and it becomes quite frustrating. So right now, I'm looking for my first target, which I'm going to have to kill with an accident, but in close range. Um, I managed to track him down outside, walking back up towards the gym area, and here he is now about to start his wait session. Little does he know it's going to be his last wait session. So he's just going to take a seat on the bench press there and begin his little workout, and I'm thinking that I might go over there and give him a spot. I'll just wait for him to get warmed up, and then I'll make my way over. Alright, buddy. So we want to go for 10 today, okay, buddy? So we'll go 10. That should be easy for you. That's one. Two. This is easy. Easy. Three. All right, come on. Seven to go. Seven to go. Four. Four. Okay, you got four. Ready? Six to go. Go for five. 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 Oh, you weak piece of shit. Take that, you stupid wanker. Fucking give me ten next time, won't you? Oh, well, probably not now, because you're fucking dead. So that's one target down and two more to go. So now we're going to follow this dickhead in the pink robe who happens to be another one of our targets, and he's going to go have a secret drink from that globe in the middle of the room there. And of course, be subsequently crushed. But in the meantime, let's take a look back at one of our other targets who just loves to cook in his room. This food is going to taste so good. Taken care of. And that of course means there is only one target remaining, this faggot in pink. All we need to do now is wait for him to get up and take a drink out of that hidden globe, and when he does such, pull out the detonator, push the button, and... The bastard is dead. Now for those of you that don't know, there is a faster and easier way of killing this last guy, and I'll show it to you now. So instead of focusing on the hidden drink and the bomb on the chandelier, make your way down the corridor that's next to the gym and shortly into the spa area. Now I am 95% sure that security officials are actually allowed in this area, but just for good measure, stand behind the door so you're invisible from sight when it opens like that, close the door behind you, enter sneak mode and follow them around the spa. And then, when you feel the time is right, yeah. <laughs> that's what I love about Hitman Blood Money, the ability to push somebody into something as shallow as a spa and have them instantly drown. So either way you killed that last target, it is now time for us to get the fuck out of this clinic. And again, I'm fucking lost. Finally, I managed to find the entrance. I'm going to exit the front door, make my way down to where I first sedated the police officer and change back into my trusty suit. 
The reason that I generally encourage people to regain their suit before they finish a mission is because in higher difficulties such as professional, you do need to reclaim your suit before you leave, otherwise you will not get Silent Assassin. Perfect timing as no security officers were looking, I am now going to revive my fellow agent, let him stand up and make my way towards the exit. But I am curious, what would happen if I chose to kill him at this point? I guess there's only one way to find out. Come here you fucking bastard. Take that! Ah, okay so you fail. Okay, so we'll finish the mission properly this time. No shooting Agent Smith. Besides, you've been watching for ten and a half minutes anyway, and it's time for me to wrap it up. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Three accidents, no witnesses, silent assassin. I hope you enjoyed episode three of my Let's Play Hitman Blood Money series. Again, I'm having a blast making these episodes, and I hope you guys are enjoying watching them. Stay tuned for episode four, in which I tackle probably everybody's favourite mission, A New Life. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button below, and for more videos like this one, as well as video game reviews, gameplay commentaries, and other game-related media, swing over to my channel, and hey, you could always subscribe.